Hello Dan Safarian. So today we have a box of sea animals and right over here there's a new box as well. So let's cut them loose and take a look. First, we have a hammerhead shark right over here. I think it looks super amazing. So you can see the head shape looks like a hammer, okay? It looks like a hammer, which is why it is known as the hammerhead shark. It is quite a ferocious and um pretty big shark to be honest. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at this little interesting fish right over here. Okay, so this is actually known as an anglerfish. So this little knob right over here is actually bioluminous. It is able to attract its prey, and once the prey gets near this little bioluminous thingy right over here, we just gobble up the little fish. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this great white shark over here. So great white shark, they have really good sense of smell and it is my most favorite sea animal. So they can actually smell a drop of, a drop of blood from miles away, okay? They're pretty ferocious uh, and can attack human beings as well, okay? Next up, we have a bamboo shark right over here. They are pretty harmless to humans, but they can be aggressive when provoked as well. So bamboo shark can see the patterns across the body. And of course, they are smaller than a great white shark. Next up, let's take a look at this. We have a stingray right over here. So let's cut this loose. All right. All right, we are getting the stingray up from the box. You can see this is a type of ray fish. Yes, looks really interesting. It's really flat and it's able to swim by just gliding its body. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this really, really huge shark right over here. This is actually a prehistoric shark, which is known as the Megalodon. You can see this is a beautiful looking shark. It looks really, really gigantic. It is several times the size of a great white shark. Next up, we have plenty of new sea animals in this box. And right over here, we have a narwhal. So you can see it has a very, very long and interesting spike right over here, which can be used to defend itself, I guess. Okay. Right over here, we have an emperor penguin. Emperor penguin is actually the largest species of penguins around. Okay. It looks really, really beautiful. I love this yellow part of the body. Next up, we have an orca right over here. Okay, this orca is also known as a killer whale. The orca can actually attack a whale and they also attack the shark, so they are like the apex predator. They have no natural predators, so they're the, the king of the sea. Right over here, we have a huge whale shark, as you guys can see. The whale shark is actually a very docile sea animal. Okay, this is a beautiful figure from Collecte. And we have a beautiful um, Megalodon. This is also a Megalodon, which is a prehistoric shark from Safari LTD. So you guys can see it has several rows of teeth, and each tooth will regrow if they go missing. That's a pretty cool fact, right? And this is a walrus, so you can see it has two huge tusks right in front of its uh, mouth. Mm -hmm. So the walrus has lots of blubble, which is a type of fat to protect itself from the cold. For a starfish, we got this little starfish um, figure very recently, so you can see it looks really beautiful. And right over here, we have a soft fish, so you can see this part of the mouth contains like teeth-like structure. Looks really interesting, and it looks like a saw. A saw is what we use to saw like you know, types of different types of materials, like wood and stuff. What is this? Is this a great white shark? Probably. Let's take a look. Yet, yes, this is another great white shark, and this figure is from Safari LTD. So the great white shark is my most favorite sea animal. What about you guys? I want you guys to comment down below. What is this? I think this could be a zebra shark. Mm -hmm. And right over here, we have a dolphin. 
and most likely this could be a butter nose dolphin. A very very cute penguin chick right over here. But what is the species? Let's take a look. Little penguin. It doesn't say it's the species. I think it could be a young emperor penguin species. And this is a very very cute little fish which I've just got recently. Let's take a look. This is actually known as a box fish. It looks so adorable. It is a figure from Collecte. And here we have a 3D puzzle of a walrus. So you guys have seen a walrus just now. So you can see these two huge long tusks. And right over here, I think this is a zebra shark. A beautiful small little figure of a zebra shark. I really love this. And right over here, we have a shark which is blue in color. I think this could be a great white shark, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, and let's take a look at this dolphin right over here. You can see it has a very, very long and narrow snout, and this is actually known as a Ganges River dolphin. Yep, this is, can be found in the Ganges River. And we have one of the largest um, living thing on Earth right now, which is the blue whale. You can see it looks so majestic. I really love this. We have a very, very cute little dolphin which I've just got recently. This is actually known as a rock hopper dolphin, if I remember correctly. That's right, you can see the name written right behind its back. The rock hopper penguin. This is from Collecte. So if you watch Happy Feet, you are able to find this. Next up, what is this? Is this a goblin shark? I think this could be a goblin shark, I'm not too sure. So goblin shark is the type of shark which can be found deep under the water. I, I, I mean, this is, this is the goblin shark 100%. So they look very, very weird. And the ancestors are actually traced all the way back 125 years ago. So they are like living fossils. Right over here, we have a polar bear. Polar bear, they are extremely, extremely... This is actually a polar bear cup. Polar bears are extremely good swimmers. They can swim underwater for several hours. It's pretty incredible. Right over here, we have a humpback whale, I think. All right. I'm not too sure is the humpback whale bigger or is the blue whale bigger. If you guys know, do let me know down below. Okay, so did we have a basking shark right over here. This is actually a pretty docile shark. So it's, it is a filter feeder, which means it opens up its mouth, suck in all the water and filter out all the food particles. A very, very cool shark. And this one should be a great white shark, which is once again, you know, my most favorite sea animal. Um, This could be a sand shark. Yeah, it could be a sand shark. I'm not 100% sure, but it could be one. And if we take a look at this, this is another really cool looking shark. It could be a, um, hmm, not too sure. It could be a great white shark, but it's not accurate enough when it comes to the appearance. If I keep a polymers, which is not exactly um, sea animal, it is like a partial land animal as well. So hippopotamus, they're pretty ferocious. Crocodiles do not dare to attack them because you know they're very aggress aggressive. We have another rock hopper penguin right over here. Looks so adorable. Looks like we have a little seal. Okay, let's check out the name written right below to see. This is actually an Australian sea lion. Oh, nice. So this sea lion can be found in Australia. Do we have a pelican right over here? So pelican is not exactly a sea animal, but they can definitely be found near the coastal uh, or the beaches or near, near the seas. Orca, another one which is known as the killer whale. They're extremely good hunters. Another orca, um, figure right over here. Green sea turtle. Green sea turtle. I really love turtles and they actually go on to the beach to lay their eggs and the, the young of the tortoises actually crawl up from the, from the eggs and just walk and swim towards the ocean. Yeah, and many of them don't really get to survive for long. What is this? I think we have a new figure right over here which is known as a Blaine Bigged whale. I have not much idea on 
on this beautiful looking wheel but I guess it is super cool looking so you can see there's two crests right over here and there's plenty of spots across the body a beautiful looking wheel I'll definitely find out more about this creature and what is this we have a beautiful mentor ray I've actually seen plenty of mentor rays when I was you know holidaying in um, Maldives yep that's right and take a look at this this is a beautiful looking aerodynamic the body look shape looks really good and I think this is a short fin mako shark yes I remember short fin mako shark they are pretty aggressive yeah. much smaller than a um, great white shark we have bottom nose dolphin right over here dolphins are really intelligent um, sea animals another dolphin right over here it could be a bottom nose dolphin I'm not too sure and this is definitely a um, emperor penguin looks so magnificent looks so majestic I really love the color combination that it has on its body black feathers and um, yellow feathers and here we have a beautiful great white shark one of my most favorite figures in this box it looks so big it looks so huge another one as you guys can see we have plenty of different great white shark figures in this video really really love great white sharks what is your most favorite sea animal can you please let me know down below and check this out guys we have a, a very very interesting um will and this is actually known as the southern right will all right so there are different types of whales out there different species we have humpback we have blue whale we have the sperm whale and this one is a sperm whale a sperm whale 3D puzzle and this is another shark and this is a bull shark bull shark are extremely extremely ferocious extremely ferocious and you should be wary of them um, we have a dolphin but not too sure what type of dolphin this is mm -hmm. and another dolphin and this has a name written right below so let's take a look this is a bottom nose dolphin amazing stuff Okay, and this is another little cute dolphin right over here and this is just named as a dolphin so there's no specific species to this figure so we don't really know all right we have a black tip reef shark cool you can see this fin right over here it has a black tip which is no which is why it is known as the black tip reef shark so I'm gonna pick my most favorite sea animals from this box and I want you guys to let me know as well so for me I'm definitely picking this walk as my number one most favorite um, sea animal um, I mean figure and the next one I'm gonna pick this little great white shark this is a megalodon I'm gonna pick the hammerhead shark as well so these three are definitely one of my most favorite what about you guys please let me know I think we have missed out one figure right over here which looks like a zebra shark yeah or is this a bamboo shark I think this is a bamboo shark all right thanks for watching this video please let me know down below which is your most favorite sea animal in this video and I will reply to you thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week for the next video okay goodbye